rising at this exclusion we call the 40 case of Chinese art, which like the whole year across from 1974 to 2012. I would say this is really like a very interesting period and so many Chinese artists face such a dramatic rapid change in a very compressed time. We show lots of like uh, quite uh, important 1980s work, such like a no-name group, such like a star group. For a long time, this kind of work never um, had uh, rarely to be exhibited well and uh, be conserved well. For example, we have a very nice no-name group painting, which was painted before the end, ending of the Cultural Revolution. So that's really like a the kind of underground art creation. At the end of the first chapter, we also show this uh, partially the work from the 1989 Chinese avant-garde exhibition. So we do come, based on this resource, we can restage some very important historical moment of Chinese art. It's, uh, it's an interesting but uh, sentimental moment for me, see the works which I put together over a long time, uh, starting as a private collector, then trying to collect like an institution. And uh, it means I had to collect back as well as forward. So we see many works here from the 70s, very early pioneering works. And that may be very interesting for the audience here to see those works and then we can more or less read while we go along how the art develops, develops, the works get bigger, more sophisticated, until we end about where art is today. I cannot make a prediction about 2019 when Empla is going to open. I think that moment will be very decisive. I have hope that going forward we will not uh, have limitations of freedom of speech as to the current situation, but you know, who knows the future.